What's up, hustlers? Today I'm going to show you how to implement deep learning on some data that is inside of a CSV file. So, um, deep learning. So, we're going to be doing a simple neural network, and neural networks are very simply just modeling um, things as like a bunch of neurons with a bunch of weights that have an output to make a prediction. So, it's just a bunch of linear equations that are trying to make some kind of predictions. Uh, through this, you know, linear equations, not too complicated. So why don't we just go ahead and get started? So we're going to need some libraries. So we're going to say import TensorFlow as TF, then import NumPy as NP, import Pandas as PD, import Seaborn as SNS. Uh, I like Seaborn, makes some nice plots, but we also need matplotlib, plot. Okay, so we're gonna need the formula for converting things from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Um, so, you know what? Let's go through the data just so I can show you guys or else it won't really make sense. Okay, so basically I made these values up um, using NumPy's random function. So just made up temperatures from Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. And we're just gonna read this file and we're gonna apply the model on one column just to keep it simple. Oops, hold on. All right, so we're going to need the formula for Celsius to Fahrenheit. And that is uh, return 1.8 times Celsius plus 32. OK, and now we're going to read the file. Uh, temp cells, use pandas for that because it's super easy. Read CSV, data.csv. Okay, now we get temperatures from planets. So we'll say Jupiter Celsius um, equals uh, temp Celsius, temp Jupiter. So pandas allows us to. Uh, select the data this way, and then you got to say dot values to get the array. And so we're going to do that for the other planets, Mars cells. We're going to say Mars, oops. And then we have uh, Venus. Venus cells. Okay. So now we need to convert to Fahrenheit because um, we're going to need to train the model. And to train the model, we need uh, data that is you know, already predicted. So we're going to use uh, an, a NumPy function for that. So let's do, so we're going to say uh, Jupiter. Fair, Mars, Fair, Venus, Fair. So it's uh, NP dot apply along axis. And this is going to allow us to apply this function along our data. So I'm going to say cells to fair, um, zero as the index. And then we're going to say Jupiter Celsius. So this is probably a silly way of doing this, but um, oh well. Mars cells, Venus. OK. So now we've got all the data that um, we're going to need to train our model. 
So let's start building the actual model. So I like to build the layer outside of TensorFlow uh, or the layers. In this case, we're going to do one layer. So uh, here's what I mean by layer. This whole thing is a layer, and these things are neurons. So you can have, for example, uh, another layer of this here in between the Y. And that would make it more uh, complicated and more like deep learning kind of kind of thing. So, all right, let's build that layer. TF dot. Oops, we're gonna need TensorFlow. TF dot. Keras dot. Layers dot. Dense. Units equals one. Number of neurons. Input shape one because it's just values. Okay, now we're going to initialize our model. Uh, we're going to say um, model equals TensorFlow Keras sequential. This is the model. This, this does deep learning. So then you feed it a, your, your layers as your neurons and stuff. So in this case, just one layer. Um, we're going to set learning rate. These, these are the hyperparameters that uh, you know make your model learn faster or slower or whatever. 0.1 is a good value. Um, to be honest, I haven't really tried others. 0.1 worked pretty well. And so we're just going to do that. Uh, and the epochs, we're going to say 500. You could think of this as like the steps. Okay. And now compile the model. We're going to say... Uh, model dot compile. Hold on. Model dot compile. So loss is. Um, what are we doing for loss? Uh, mean squared error. Yes. Uh, because we are predicting values and not doing any categorization or anything. So. And then the optimizer, uh, optimizer equals tf dot keras dot optimizer dot atom learn rate. Okay, uh, and now we've compiled the model. Now train it. Now we're gonna say trained model. Model.fit, Jupyter cells. So we're only going to do it on Jupyter. Jupyter cells, Jupyter fair. And then we're going to say epochs equals epoch verbose equals false. Because I don't like it to say too much on the terminal. Okay, so now the model is trained. So now let's plot the uh, loss values. So loss equals trained model dot history, which is nifty. TensorFlow just kind of gives you these methods to get everything you need. And then epoch label is x for uh, x in range. Epoch. Oops. Epoch. This is, this is just going to be the label for our our uh, our plot. So. Um. Let's plot it. SNS dot. Set style. Equals. Dark grid. I like dark grid. You can set it to whatever you like. SNS dot line plot x equals epoch y equals uh, loss and then data. Oh, it expect Seaborn expects a data frame, so let's let's do that. Loss data frame equals pd dot data frame. And then you got to build it in a really annoying way. You got to say list 
zip uh, loss epoch label and then column names no it's a list so loss epoch oops okay so let me double check that pd data frame yep okay and then data here equals loss df and then you gotta say plot.show so let's run this hopefully i didn't make any mistakes and when you run it i recommend running it in a virtual environment um, inside the github repository for this let me see if i can open it real quick uh, i show you how to do this inside the github repo so i recommend doing this before running this because then you'll have uh so first you know download or clone the uh the repo and then go inside it and then do this stuff and then you can run it so that's what i did beforehand and it takes a while to install tensorflow so uh, let's run it. Uh, positional argument, shoot, 23, tf dot caras dot layers, tense units. Oh, equals. Okay, it looks like it's running. It it takes a minute. What? Uh, okay, hold on. Optimizer equals tf dot keras dot optimizer. What are you talking about, Python? Optimizer. Ooh. I will skip the debugging <laughs> or cut it out. Okay, I fixed it. It was a typo. All right, so now it's running. Just give it a minute. Now look at that, it learns really fast. So within like, what is this, the, the third epoch? Not even, it learns right away because, you know, converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit is just a linear equation and neural networks are really, really good at that. So let's run it inside an IPython shell so that we can get the model and then we can use it to make predictions on new data. So it's going to do its thing. Okay. And then now we can say model.predict, say um, 32 degrees Celsius. Okay. 89.5 Fahrenheit. Let's check that. So 32 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. Right on the money. So there you have it. I hope you found this uh, useful and see you next time.